Hola, hola. Hi there, guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Una hora con la doña. Peacocks United, Pavo Reales Unidos, is live with you guys tonight. I don't want to have, I don't want to do a very long show. Pero vamos a esperar un ratito. Thank you for your likes. If you are doing the replay, watching me on the replay, please, please give me a like. I do, I do rely on your, on your likes. Gracias. Todo con los algorithms y todo eso. Uh, YouTube ghosting people y todo eso. I, I don't like it. Estoy estrenando, guys. I am estrenando un vestidito nuevo. Brand new. Este, I'm not wearing this. Hola, hola. Me estás tocando el cord del cable. El internet cord is in my way. Ay, no le digan, don't tell número social that I'm bending over. Please don't tell número social that I bent over. Ay, 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 people reporting me toda la cosa. Anda. Anda una comadre molestándome. Comadre. And I've been trying to get her for a little bit. You open the door y entran las comadres. But it's all right. If, if she gets in my way, I, I'm going to have to because I can't stand her. I'm drinking that Garcinia Cambodia o como se llame. I don't think it's taking my... my um, my hunger away, I, um, it's not making me go to the John John, tampoco. Hello, hello, good evening a todas las que están conmigo, gracias, thank you for being here, thank you, thank you, thank you. Guys, we do have a topic, but before we go into a, our topic, I was thinking, and I got a call. Uh, it's only been two minutes, so we're going to wait a little bit. I talked about it this afternoon a little bit. Um, but I did get a call from Mr. Luke Thompson. So just to let you guys know, uh, we are going to talk about it. Just a tiny tad. We are going to talk about it. Just a tiny tad. Imodo. Imodo. That go, there goes my, 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 my tea, but it's all right. No pasa nada. Um, we want to talk about it just a tiny tad. Uh, we want to hear uh, inquiring minds want to know. Not because of the drama, not because of the lies, but because we want to know. Howdy, I see you. Everybody's got opinions, and I think we all have our opinions. So we're going to wait a little bit. It's only been three minutes. Also, guys, I want to thank those people that are sending me videos of current events because there's a lot of things happening Muchas cosas that are happening um, around the world. San Antonio is a very, very big city. Very, very big city. And just the other day, um, I don't know what happened. I got a, I got a video today. Excuse me. Excuse me. I got a video today and... What? Vamos a ver, algo está pasando. Ay, Dios mío. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll talk about this. Uh, thank you, Inbox Fairy. We will talk about this in a little bit. Right, We're, we are going to talk about this, but let me show you guys something that I got today. Thank you for being here. All the people that have been ghosted, perdonenme, there is a way out of it. it you have to do another, another, another thing. Pero no pasa nada. Another email. Let me find...
Chingue a su madre. Thank you, Inbox Fairy. We need this. We need this. Thank you. We need this. So, uh, we are going to talk about this también. But before we do, before we talk about any of this, guys, I want you guys to see a little video that was sent to me. We have it right here. This was sent to me. I want you guys to see this. It's a car. Llega un carro. Guys, eso en español se llama una ráfaga de balas. Una ráfaga de balas. What kind of gun did these guys have? An AK-47, no sé. I don't know if it was a 47, 57, me, me vale. Pero esta es una ráfaga de balas going out everywhere. Let's look at it again. The guy gets off of the car. Ahí he's already taking off. But check it out again. Ahí llega el carro. The guy gets off of the car. All right, eso es una ráfaga de balas, guys. And it says, shocking video. The San Antonio police released this video in the hopes of solving the murder of Miranda Gomez. Investigators believe she and the other passengers in the car were leaving an after-hours club right before the shooting. So, people are leaving a nightclub. There's, there's, goes of things that are happening all over this world. San Antonio is not too far from us, guys. There's a lot of stuff happening. Guns, shootings, y un montón de cosas. But Raymondville is a small town. Raymondville, you're, gonna, you're bound to see somebody that you know at a little store here. We have one HEB, one dollar general, and one family dollar, and a dollar tree. The HEB is a supermarket para comprar comida and stuff like that. The other little stores are for just necessities. All right? So that's all we have. And then we have restaurants and tortillas, tortillerias, tortilla factories. That's, that's all we have. We have a few auto shops and we have AutoZone and O'Reilly's. Es todo lo que tenemos. We don't have a big city. This is not a big city, guys. And things, you're bound to see somebody that you don't like. So we're going to talk about this first before I go into my topic tonight is mom. Why? Just why, mom? But first, let's talk about what happened at HEB last night. Because I'll have you guys know that I know about this since last night, but it was not my story to tell. All right. So Mr. Luke Thompson wants, I'm up chat. Let me put it on live chat. He wants to talk about, my thing is, you know, do not believe everything you guys hear out there. And this is just going to be a little bit of what happened. Obviously, there are cameras out there. But in my opinion, and I've said it before, I said it today, what perpetuated anyone to stop? There's a difference between kicking and stopping a cart from ramming into you. So let me call him because I do not know. I think I do believe he was going to call me. Wrong phone. Ugh. I hope we can hear him from this phone. I'm going to do this first so we can get it out of the way. All right. Let me get the other phone. I know there's people that want to hear his side of the story. Hi, Irma. Thank you for being here. I mean, if we're honest, I was accused. I was accused of um, tracking people, which is not true. 
Hello, hello. Luke. Hey, what's up? Hey, hey. Um, you're on the air. I know there's a lot of people that want to hear. If you could just yeah. elaborate a little bit. Um, yeah. On an incident that happened last night, and the story was swapped around. Yeah, uh, I know. I don't, I don't know if a lot of people know, but uh, I did live earlier on my channel. I don't know if if I go into more detail on that. I'm not uh, you you did a live at about eight thirty. I just found out. I did not get yeah. my notification. Yeah, yeah. If they, I, I'll touch up on. Uh, I'll I'll go ahead and touch up on it a little bit. But if anybody is wondering what happen in detail they can visit uh they can visit my youtube channel it's under luke thompson or they can type in uh uh at the real villain uh oh one and it should take you to it but okay but uh but oh no look this is what i'm gonna say about that i know i, I mentioned this earlier uh when someone is this is what this is my opinion on, on what this is my opinion on the scenario correct me if i'm wrong but if you're if, let's say for example you ophelia if you are at hb and you you obviously are not going to do some major grocery shopping you're just going to go in there for like maybe three or four items uh you don't get a shopping cart no you because sometimes sometimes you just get a loaf of bread and aguacate and something yeah. some chips yeah. or something and you don't need a cart for a few items maybe Maybe a two liter of Coke, maybe a quick loaf of bread, or just something that you need on, you know, real quick. You Ex don't grab a shopping cart. Exactly. So, so yeah, I like I said, that person. This is what I think. Person went in there, uh, did a couple, of, you know, grabbed a couple of items. You know, they saw someone that obviously they they do not like, they have issues with, and that person is 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 extremely aware of their surroundings. You know what I mean? And and. Uh, Anybody with half a brain, everybody knows that if, if you're if you see someone you don't like, you're gonna be on the you're gonna be on the lookout. And this person noticed that you know if you see a shopping cart headed directly at you, that's gonna cause bodily injury, that's gonna hit you, and you you have your hands or your hands are full with with items that obviously you're gonna purchase. You're gonna do. You, are you gonna stand there and let that shopping cart hit you and inflict bodily injury? That, no, 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 no. That? That's why. That's why. In my opinion, and I'm sure it's in your opinion also. If anybody yeah. is at as a, is at H E B and you see a cart coming towards you, the first reaction is to put your foot forward and stop it. Yeah, to exactly. And put your a, foot forward a, because you can't stop it with your hands. Your hands are full. And that's exactly what happened. The only thing is that this. Uh, in my opinion, this blob of uh, walking big uh, pig decided to pick on, you know, he decided he thought he could intimidate the wrong person. You know what I mean? Uh, he thought he could be a bully and intimidate and he got a rude awakening. He got a rude awakening to someone kicking the shit up and he got scared like a little bitch and got on the phone trying to talk to someone that doesn't give him any pussy from, in my opinion, that's a mojada from Brownsville. That's a fucking... Go, that uh, should live over there, goes over there to trips, to third world country trips. The good thing is that all this is satire and it's just for entertainment yeah. purposes only. Not that any exactly. of that happened. Yeah, exactly. So this is just my opinion on the scenario that, I, that happened, that I think went down. He tried to intimidate the wrong person. The person did not want to get... And that's uh, exactly what we heard on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah, and the person didn't want to get hit with the shopping cart, so he defend. You know, he defended himself. He kicked. I the believe. Cart I believe the, the person only stopped the shopping cart from hitting that person. That's what I believe. Yeah. Yeah, and that's exactly what he did. He had. To, I'm sure he had to use his legs because obviously he had things. He had items that he was exactly. Going to exactly. In his yeah. So, and that person wasn't expecting that. They thought they could intimidate. They thought they could intimidate that person. You know what? My thought is, why would anybody want to ram someone else? Because there's got to be a reason that that other said person stopped it with his foot. All he did was stop it. Now, why yeah. would a, that uh, any other person try to ram anyone with a shopping cart? What kind of thoughts are those? Yeah, because that person, they make it seem like he's all this, like if he's a big cuddly bear, very nice. No, he's not. That person has mental issues. Uh, he, obviously, there's something not right in there in the head with him. He's Scarlet. he's obviously sexually, he, in my opinion, he's sexually deprived. Uh, he couldn't get, 
He couldn't get Panocha from that lady from Bronzeville. He hasn't gotten Panocha in a while. He's mad. He's got issues going on in his head. That, Man, the good thing know, is that's like, only in your opinion, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, and all of this is in my opinion, of course. You know, this is what I think. Because the Honorable Judge Cordova did say freedom of speech. Boom! Yeah. And I'm not diagnosing him. I'm, I'm not a doctor in any way. This is just what I think might be going on in his head. That person is not a big cuddly bear or whatever, Ooh. the way they make it. He's got, he's got, he's got a aggressive, violent, violent tendencies. Uh, he does think, I, I, in my opinion, he probably thinks that he's still, he's still in his prime, that he's maybe still in his 30s or whatever. You know, he's, a, he, that guy will get, if he, he picked on the wrong person last night, that person put him in check. But, but there's people in Raymondville, people. but I mean, there are people in Raymondville that even go after women that have yeah. gone to women's homes to try to be all tough. <laughs> so I can, oh, I can okay, imagine. Okay. Oh, yeah, like I said, he he got punked out and uh, they're at HB and he realized that he he fucked with the wrong person. You know what I mean? What that person is lucky that that person is is not an aggressive person. That person defends himself. The other person, and of course, people, yeah. the other person yeah. that was there. Yeah. And he, he do pull the cameras because the cameras will show that he tried to inflict bodily injury by by swinging by directing his shopping cart at someone you know what i mean and it's going to show that he is the aggressor it's going to show that the other person tried to uh they defended themselves in the only way that they could because obviously they can't defend themselves with their hands they have items in their hands so they had no choice but to use their leg to uh to stop uh, the shopping cart from hitting them exactly you know what i mean yeah i know yeah. what you mean i yeah. know exactly what you mean what you mean uh, anybody, yeah. I talked about it today, anybody would stop that car. And of course, if you look, you would probably think that it's kicking or something, but you're trying to stop it with your foot forward. Obviously, yeah. it might look like a kick, but who wants to be ramped? Has anybody ever been ramped? Guys, ha yeah. did you ever, when you were younger, get ramped accidentally by a shopping cart? I've been ramped. I have been ran yeah, by a shopping was, cart and it hurts like a, it hurts. Yeah. When, when I was fresh out of high school, I, I, I actually used to work at that store. I was, I worked there for, for five years and I, I started from the bottom picking up shopping carts. I worked my way up to cashier. Then from there I worked to a uh, department, the uh, uh, grocery department, uh, general merch, merchandise department. So you lady went to toda la tienda ahí, you know what I mean? But I've been hit with a shopping cart before from, you know, picking up and, and let me tell you, it, it does hurt, you know, and oh, it does. it's not, it, it is painful. Those things are made out of, uh, it's like a hard aluminum. It's, that it's hard. Made out of. Isn't it hard steel? Yeah. I think it's just hard steel, but in my opinion, I don't know, but it hurts. Yeah. A lot of us yeah. have been hit by accidentally by those shopping carts. So yes, you did the right thing in, yeah. in, in telling us the story of what you believe to be. There, yeah somebody that's already been there done that you know yeah like yeah like i said those shopping carts do especially if, if you're wearing if you're wearing cargo shorts and you, you're out and you get hit and you don't you're not even wearing thick jeans or nothing it's gonna hurt you know what i mean and in my opinion that person was definitely uh protecting himself from getting uh, hurt you see a shopping cart coming at you you're gonna defend yourself you're not gonna stand there and let a shopping cart a uh, shopping cart hit you you know what i mean and like I said, this person got a rude awakening. He he got he got punked out in front of a bunch of people, and 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 he knows, you know, you're not gonna mess with someone that that knows how to defend themselves, in my opinion. And and you know, he's not gonna that person's not gonna let themselves get hit with a shopping cart. They're gonna defend themselves. So, andaba llorando. I I know I know I heard that he went crying to the manager or whatever. You know what he can. He can cry to the manager, but, and I and and I hope they do pull the the, the tape. Yeah, they're gonna they're probably get the video yeah. out. But look, Jenny six hundred two says there are people from Raymondville that want to be all tough with women, but not with men. Make that makes make me understand that exactly. Who the yeah, hell yeah, is just gonna stand there and wait to get hurt? Yeah, okay. and and like I said, that's that just makes no sense. You gotta be these people want to say, oh well. I, 
they want to they want to make it seem like that person just went look who in their right mind is going to go to eat and wake up and say you know what i'm going to go to hb today and i'm going to kick somebody's car just for the fun of it just for no matter just because i feel like it no there's always there's always a reason behind every reaction you know what i mean just like how people want to say oh well, they don't like me oh like they don't like me or you because we defend ourselves and we talk i don't talk about nobody i don't you know if you talk about me and you fuck with me I'm gonna fuck with you. If you see not the conmigo, you respect me and you don't say nothing about me, guess what? I don't have a problem with you. Me and you are cool. I you know, all I've ever done is defend myself since day one. And I will continue to defend myself. You know what I mean? People wanna talk shit. If you wanna insert yourself and talk something about me, guess what? I'm gonna talk about you. You know what I mean? It's that simple. I you know, I'm you know my quedo con los con los manos cruzadas. Fuck that. Well, we all go to the postal says. I've been hit by a lady in a motorized shopping cart and it flipped my whole shopping cart with my baby in it. If I saw a cart coming my yeah. way, I'd yell out loud and kick the cart out of the way. Exactly. Yeah, and you're only defending yourself from getting hit from someone. Obviously, this person this person can't say that they're blind or that they're mentally retarded or something. Obviously, they're they they're in the right state of mind. And if they're if they're if they're swinging a caratilla at you, going at you, and they obviously see you, that tells me that they uh, they have the intentions to inflict injury. You know what I mean? And if I see someone, and this is just my opinion, if if I'm at a store and if I see someone coming at me with a caratilla trying to hit me, damn mm -hmm. right I'm going to defend myself. Before, that, before that, we go anywhere, just, don't go anywhere. I just want to say something. I just, I feel like, like some, I feel like, like somebody's telling me to say something. Georgie Porgy, Puttin Pie, kiss yeah. them girls and make them cry. Chinga tu madre, pinche piruja. Boom. <laughs> go on, go on. That was yeah. something else. I just wanted to say that. <laughs> no, you know what? You know what, Ophelia? Right now, they're big mad. They're triggered right now. They even went on uh, a while ago when I went live about an hour ago. They 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 even jumped on my live trying to talk I did shit, not see you know that I mean? cry wolf. But, they were on your yeah, live. But, yeah, they jumped on my life too, trying to talk shit with their fake profiles. You see, these people they hide behind fake profiles. They're never gonna show their faces. They're never gonna. They're never. They're keyboard warriors. You know what I mean? They're never gonna come to my house. They're never gonna try to approach me. They're never gonna do anything because they know they're gonna get dealt with. You know what I mean? In person, put those keyboard warriors. That's all they're ever gonna be. So, but yeah, they're they're big mad that we're saying our side of the story. We're saying how things went because they think that they just want to say, you know, la, la otra pendeja de Brownsville wants to go live and talk out of her ass. You know what I mean? Uh, and say this, you know what I mean? That lady needs to worry about fucking, you know, she was in a halfway house. The th You know, obviously she's not there, not all there in the head, in my opinion. And she wants to say Roy's story. Like if Roy has any credibility, I'm like, please, that battle has no credibility at all whatsoever. I don't understand how they believe uh, people from Raymondville that never have receipts, um, scammed uh, Raymondvillians yeah. out of money for a tombstone that never got bought, in my opinion. In my opinion, plus it was publicized. It was publicized. I went to the Panteon the other day and, you know, you just happen yeah. to walk by there and there is nothing there, you know. The love of my life, the love of my life, but there's nothing there. Oh, wow. That's just my opinion. Cordova did say it is freedom of speech. Yeah. And I don't want anybody to get their fat ass over here and around my house. Don't. Because nobody's calling yeah. nobody. I don't go nowhere to go harass people. I don't stalk people. I'm not tracking people. So nobody needs to be at my house. That's yeah, just exactly. in my opinion. Yeah, and Cordova so, did say that. Plus, it's freedom of speech. I go to the Pinche Panteon almost all the time. Like, at least once a week, I go to the Pinche Panteon and there's nothing there anymore. I'm not blind. I'm not blind, guys. Yeah. I can see. Yeah, that fool should have been on a motorized car. In you know opinion. what? We all go to the Pozo. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Lupe. We all go to the Pozo. Uh, there is receipts about that. I got a video that was sent to me of someone, a Raymond Villian, going live and bragging, bragging about how they can drive drunk in Raymondville because the authority is not going to do anything to them. No, pues que chingones yeah, me salieron. It's, it's public. Video, that's why, 
Yeah, I saw that. That's why he didn't get mayor. That's why he he thought he was going to win mayor, but everybody saw that this guy's a fucking pendejete. Well, I already know that Gilbert Gonzalez has already said that if some people from Raymondville that, that went and tried to be mayors last time, that if they try it again, he will run again. Yeah, yeah. It, it, and, and he thinks he's going to win. You know, he's hey, not going to win. All the, videos, all the videos are out there that he said this and that, so they will just replay all. Every, and people here in Rainbow know that he's a fake. He's a fraud. He tries to... He tries to act like, oh, he's helping, that he likes to help people, that he likes to do this. No, bitch. You, you, it's all a front. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a big front. El Vato is pura, pura mentira. He's a fraud. And he's just out to, to try to paint this picture like if he's Mr. Goody Two Shoes, but he's not. <clears throat> so. Yeah. Pero no está bueno. Hey, I did want to, I did want to, before I leave, I did want to drop a challenge. Uh, uh, on the Maricon uh, Hoton from uh, uh, Mercedes, uh, they might they might I be wa- so. they might be watching they might be watching. What's yeah. your challenge? The challenge is if uh, if uh, if he says he doesn't have AIDS, like he because we all know he went on video saying that he does have. I'm AIDS a witness. I'm a I'm a witness. I'm a witness. Yeah. I'm a witness, guys, guys, guys. I cannot lie. I'm a witness. I I'm saw a, that video. Yeah. I'll give look if if that guy can provide receipts. That he that he went to go donate plasma at least one time, and he can provide receipts. I'll give him my word. I will get off social media, and I will fucking uh, I will stop talking about the whole AIDS thing. You know what I mean? If he can provide receipts that he can donate plasma, that will tell me that he's negative because they do check the blood there for HIV and AIDS, and uh, that'll tell me that uh, obviously you know he doesn't have AIDS. Well, we don't but have to worry fight, about but, that because he can't. Yeah. Yeah, but but you know what? I'm not worried because we all know he's not going to go because of the fact that he knows he's he he's infected with AIDS. <laughs> where he's uh, he's infecting people there in Mercedes with AIDS, and uh, he is infected, and he's not going to go. He's not going to accept the challenge because we all know he has AIDS. So so yeah, that's that's the challenge. And hey, like I got I said, somebody here talking. saying they do free testing in Harlingen. Hey, I know you're watching. They yeah. do free testing in Harlingen. Yeah, he could even uh, go to the clinic. Go, what, almost five, ten minutes? No, it doesn't take long for them to test. What do you think? You there? They do. They do what? Yeah, it only takes about five or ten minutes. Yes, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, about five, ten minutes, and then he can just show us the paperwork, and that, that's it. And uh, Mr. Mr. Allen wants him to show us his uh, DD uh, two fourteen. We're still waiting on that. Which we're never uh, going to get. Obviously, we're never yeah. going to get. We never get receipts, but I aquí quieren estar. Yeah. Aquí quieren estar watchando la mera verga. Yeah. You know, I love warrants. it. We're still, we're still waiting on the warrants. We're still waiting and on the And it is, wait, wait, dollar sign, Vagos, V-A-G-O-S 67. Today yeah. is April 2nd. And I do, yo no soy puta barata, a mí no me vas a dar un dólar, a mí no me vas a dar dos dólares, yo soy diez dólares al mes. So, haters, pay me what you guys owe me, bitches. Bunch of fucking bitches that owe me a bunch of fucking money. Yeah. So, yeah, we're, como te digo, este, pero ya, yeah, if, uh, if anybody wants to watch more in detail on what I have to say about this subject, uh, you sí. can visit my YouTube channel under Luke Thompson. Just type in Luke Thompson. All right. Pictures. Yeah. Luke Thompson. We will. I do yeah. have to see the replay because I missed it. But I do I do watch the replay and give you my thumbs up. Yeah, yeah. When you get a chance, if All you right. can watch it, uh, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. But oh, no, that was it. I'll let you continue with your other topics on the show. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for calling. Andale. Thank you, All guys. Right. I got 73 loyal people here watching me. Gracias for the thumbs up. Mark dice, yo si soy barato. Hola. Yo, no, yo nunca fui puta barata. Yo no soy puta barata. I will go to your show. Yes, I'm going to watch it al ratito because I haven't seen it. I actually took a nappy do. Nappy, 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 nappy do. Georgie Porgy wants some pudding pie in between my legs. Georgie Porgy. Ah! Anyway, guys, we do have a topic tonight. Thank you, Mr. Luke Thompson, for calling in our topic tonight, guys. Mommy, why? Just why? Why? So here's the story, guys. You have a man and his wife. 
and his wife is wanting to go into what is it called? DNA ancestry.com. What what is it called, guys? Ancestry.com. Read KK's comment. I read say Martinez, she got hit at the grocery store and her husband was mad, mad, mad. I heard someone say something. I don't want to say yet, but it could land someone in big trouble. Good. Good. I'm going to be, I'm going to keep quiet on that one. I'm going to keep quiet because uh, harassment will get you arrested in Raymondville, especially for your own Raymondvillians. So now uh, we have a story to tell you guys. Why, mom? Just why? And tell me what you guys think. So we have uh, an individual. Um, I'm going to say mid to late 30s. That's what I'm going to say. His wife is going through some Ancestry.com kind of bullshit. Is it Ancestry? Let's call. And then this is a rose. But anyway, thank you. Uh, Ancestry.com, right? So, but she did hers. And then she said, babe, let's do yours. So he's doing his. And a name comes up that he could be very, very close related to, I don't know, Pancho Villa. I'm just going to, I'm just going to say, hey, Norma. So I just said Pancho Villa just because, all right, guys, we're not going to mention any names. The wife tells him, I've heard that name. So he starts asking around. He calls his tia. Tia, have you ever heard the name of Pancho Villa? amongst her family members and stuff. And the tia says, Mijo, yes, I did. I did hear that name a long time ago. I heard that name, uh, a person that would hang around with all of us. Why, what's going on? Tia, well, on the Ancestry.com DNA thing, it's telling me that that person is very, very, very related to me. And I don't know what's going on. Uh, what's going on, Tia? I want to find out what's going on. So he goes and he tells, asks his mom. And his mom said, I don't know what you're talking about. <clears throat> Guys, his mom said, I don't know what you're talking about. The man who raised him, he thought he was his dad. Well, he goes back to the Ancestry.com and starts asking people around. And turns out he had a brother and a sister on Ancestry.com. So he asked them who were their who were who was their dad? Who was their dad? And they told him who the dad was. The dad had recently, guys, had recently died about a year ago. His real dad had recently died. It turns out that this guy did all the investigations, went and found those people, and it was determined that they were his real brother and sister. So he goes back to his mom, and his mom still denying it. His mom made him believe that the man that raised him was his real dad, and he wasn't. Turns out the man that raised him still doesn't know that this boy, who's almost 40, is not his son. So here goes the platica. <laughs> Chinga, everybody was pinche gala, verga. Girl, Candy Crush, <laughs> I see you. Let me tell you guys this. So, uh, Al rato hablamos de pinches jotos a la verga si quieren. But guys, the mother denies it until she he went and he confronted her and he said, you can't deny it anymore. You cannot deny it anymore because I've already found my brother and my sister and my dad recently died and I'm done with you. I am done with you. So guys, here we have a son who said, told his mom that mom, that he was done. What do you guys think about that? 
I know you guys are talking about the pinche gay guys. Ah! I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you, Candy Crush. I'm gonna I'm gonna pow pow you. You're distracting my followers. Tenemos un pinche tema la verga. No, but la, la pinche Candy Crush came and told us that pinche um, Pancho Villa was gay. I can't imagine that. Can you imagine? Telling your son that the man that raised him is his dad. And then for your son to find out that he is not. Guys, what do you think? The lady wants to kill herself. Her son doesn't want to know anything about her. Do you think that she's that he is doing the right thing? What do you guys think? Give me your opinion, guys. And then we'll talk about pinche Pancho Villa being a pinche joto la verga. <laughs> pinche Candy Crush la verga. <laughs> what do you guys think? Should, should the son be more lenient? Tell the mother to suck it up, buttercup, right? The, if the man raised him, it's his dad. But the son, uh, KK, is upset because had the mom told him the truth, he would have known his dad, his real dad. I wouldn't throw the woman who raised me away unless she was a bitch. He's just upset that he didn't, he missed out on knowing his real dad. She should have told, yes, yes, Minnie, that's, that is why he is upset. Do you think that he's doing wrong and saying, I'm done with you, mom? You were my mom. You brought me to this world, but I'm just done with you. I'm very upset at this particular moment. No quiero saber nada de ti. Like, is he doing wrong, guys? What do you think? In my opinion, I don't think he's doing wrong. You think he's wrong in telling his mom? I think the mom should have told him a long time ago. I don't think that the boy is wrong. I don't think that the boy not wanting to talk to his mom is wrong. Lupa thinks he's wrong. The West Texas Queen Bee, I think the mom was in the wrong. I think that the mom did wrong. I think so, Mini, but at this particular moment, she's trying to kill herself because he doesn't want to talk to her. I think that she should tell him, you know what? Chinga tu pinche padre, pendejo. If you don't want to talk to me, vete a la verga. Like maybe that's because I'm like that. <laughs> maybe because I'm like that. You know, I'm going to tell you guys what. I was brought up que la cabeza nunca baja los pies. Los pies tienen que subir a la cabeza. And it might sound bad, but it's true. He's angry. He'll forgive his mom. That's what I think, love, Carol. I think he will. Thank you for... Changing your name and being here. Thank you. I do thank you. Some secret parents, some secrets parents would die for. Perhaps embarrass it got her as far as it has. What is done in the dark will come to light. Exactly. The son has all the right to be upset. And I think he'll he'll get over it, but it'll be a while. Stop bugging him. And in my opinion, she should tell him, si no me quieres hablar, I did what I thought was right. Even though it was wrong, and I'm with the son. It was wrong, but she had her reasons. On the air or off the air? Wait, don't do that bajo because it's very bien recio. Dímelo. Can you hear me? All right. Bye. Sorry, guys. A la verga. Wow, guys. Uh, rumor has it Raymond Villians can't get uh, tombstones, but they can go and buy new trucks. Wow. In my opinion, so wrong in so many levels. Wow. 
So wrong in so many levels. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? ¿Qué vamos a hacer? How old is he now? Didn't he, uh, his kids deal with the same issue? Hippie kids. Is that what you're talking about? The guy is in his 40s or late 30s. Texas guy, my stepmom raised me since I was two, but I don't talk to her anymore because she was always a bitch. With every right. The mom needs to own it. She finally owned it, India Warrior. She owned it. But now she's calling all her sisters, crying to the sisters that the son doesn't talk to her. And the sisters didn't know the story. So the sisters are telling her, no te chingando, pendeja. It's your fault. The sisters are doing the right thing and telling her, you kept that a secret. We didn't even know what you had done. Because the mom tried to twist the story and say that she had been raped. And the tias told the son, that's a lie. Your mom was never raped. Never. Mark, I just heard on Facebook. Somebody just told me, Mark. I don't know. I cannot verify, but somebody just sent me proof. I don't know if it's true. So, so I can't talk about it because I don't know if it's true. That's what I heard. I see you. I just got a, a receipts right now. I got receipts, but I personally don't know. It's a monster. She needs to own up to it. She needs to own up to it, which probably she already did. I don't know, girl, but somebody just sent me receipts. Thank you, Inbox Fairy. Not none of my business. They're gonna say, "Las pinche haters." I can already. Is that of your business, pinche bitch? Que la verga puta. Chingas a tu madre, hija de tu puta madre. Talk about that, you fucking bitch. I have some new socks que me habían regalado that I haven't even tried. I'm going to try them right now. Um, yeah, guys, I got an inbox fairy that just sent that to me. Thank you, thank you, combis. What? Sauce, another, another uh, cheese mint. Uh, I had a dream. I'm going to tell you guys my dream and then I'm going to end my dream. All right. I had a dream. I told you guys that I took a nappy, nappy do. Nappy, 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 nappy do. I took a nap this afternoon, guys, and in my dream, I had a dream. The Morenos, the Morenos were at this fiesta. And in my dream, I saw my brother Frank, my brother Smiley. And I don't know if I've ever told you guys, my brother Smiley uh, got into a fist fight after after he was married. He had two or three kids already. And uh, there was a guy and a, and a horse. And the guy's six foot, um, six foot two. And my brother Smiley's about five, five. He's not even that tall. And my brother Smiley's telling the guy, I don't want to hit you. I don't want to fight. Um, the guy gets off of the horse and my brother Smiley's looking up at him. And Smiley tells him, I don't want to hit you. I don't want to hit you. And the guy says, let's get it on. My brother Smiley reaches up. Boom, the guy goes down. Pinche Goliath was down. Anyway, people talked about that for years. How Smiley, David had beat Goliath. And in my dream, I could see Goliath. I saw Goliath. In my dream, what is that thing when you go to a party that you were not invited to? Crash. I saw Goliath crash the Moreno's party. Like someone else had done when it was my party. But in my dream, guys, I saw Goliath go up to my brother Smiley. 
And I could see Frank was there and my brother Paul was there. But he goes up to Smiley, thinking that he was all big shit. And in my dream, Smiley said, I'm not going to tell you that I don't want to hit you. And I saw, I saw Smiley reach up. Boom, one hit. I saw Goliath go down. And remember, that Goliath was not the same Goliath in my dream today. It was a different Goliath. That Goliath that my brother Smiley had beat was a very handsome Goliath. This Goliath that I dreamt today was tall, fat, and ugly. As a matter of fact, not ugly, guys. Yugle. And if you guys know what yugle means, yugle is like a million times more than ugly. My brother in my dream hit that man so fucking hard. His jaw went. Smiley jumps on top of that Goliath. Boom. Boom. Nomás le dio tres vergazos. Pinche sangre a la verga, squirting out, dientes a la verga. Possible high pain. <laughs> yes. Like yugle. <laughs> Wedding crasher. Well, it wasn't a wedding. It was a party crasher. No, Jason Momoa was not in my dream. It was an ugly, ugly Goliath. Horrible looking giant. Horrible. Grandote y gordo y feo. Anyway. Anyway, guys. Um, what? All right, guys. LV Raiders. Is LV Raiders here? So I didn't read it, but I think LV Raiders wrote. I'm going to say she wrote it. She wants all of us to pray for her. She's going to go into the hospital tomorrow for some procedures, guys. LV Raiders, you will be in everyone's prayers, the warrior, the prayer warriors. I will close my eyes tonight and I will tell God to put his hand over you. Or maybe right now. Que Dios ponga su mano de poder sobre ti. Que mañana vayas and all those procedures, que todo salga normal. That it's nothing except for those lymph nodes that I told you about. It's going to be just lymph nodes. That's all it's going to be. Prayers going your way, LV Raiders. I think our show is over. I think I've done all my... Um... Ah! Could, could have been April Fool's. Hey, Inbox Fairy, it could have been April Fool's. You know, when somebody says, it could have been April Fool's, guys. When somebody says, uh, we're going to get donations because we're going to do this, and then it isn't done, the person doesn't have any credibility. People lose credibility. They're trying to make me a liar. Oh, hell no. I am not a scammer. I am not a liar. And I would never put piedras, pinche piedritas, in a fucking can. That's fucking work. Get a fucking life. I don't do that. Not because I'm not a scammer. Because it's fucking work, motherfucking bitch. The less work you give me, the better I'm, I am. I mean, no me des trabajo de agarrar piedritas, get a can. How many am I going to put? Pa que no se note a la verga, hijo de tu puta madre. Like, really, in my opinion, it's so fucking stupid. Like, in my opinion, and Cordova did say, there is freedom of speech. Anyway, guys, estuve con ustedes. I don't want to get into that because people are just stupid. All right, guys, do you guys remember the doc? Do you guys remember the doc? The doc is uh, ghosted right now. Uh, <clears throat> his, sounds like a man, doc, his grandson is going to be uh, going through surgery. I think maybe tonsillitis tomorrow morning. Prayers going to the doc's grandson. I know, I know Sylvia, and I know Norma. 
and um yes the doc her it's a her her grandson is going to go through some surgery i think it might be tonsillitis maybe maybe I'm still live. All my all my messages are gone, are done. I did. I read it out loud, but I don't know what they're talking about. So I did. I did read it out loud. Exactly. I I have no idea why people are like that. Puro pedo. I don't know what it is with these people and me. Uh, but I do want to say something. There are people that have no originality like and no content. So they need to use me. And to literally stream my video is like, Really? Nobody sees that? Nobody sees that. <laughs> I tell you, people are curious by nature. People are curious, comadrita. We'll find out. We'll find out. I want to thank each and every one of you guys that are here tonight. Today is the second. I do rely on your loyal support. Gracias. Um, people accuse me of a lot of shit. Can you guys can can you guys write? Can we elaborate on the people that the haters accuse me of being? On the things, the things that the haters accuse me of being. They accuse me of being a liar. They accuse me of stealing. They accuse me, can you guys, of being a scammer? Hey, Cindy, that's why I'm going to be here a little bit more. They accuse me of, what else do they accuse me of, guys? Liar, scammer, thief. They accuse me of being gay, cult leader. They accuse me of being mean. I'm a liar, but I always show receipts. Exactly. They accuse me of running hate pages. They accuse me of being a drunk. Wait, is there a difference, drunk and alcoholic, or is it the same? Because they accuse me of being a drunk. They accuse me of being a peeping Tom. I was over there knocking on the window. They accuse me. It's the same. Okay. All right. They accuse me of being the pink Power Ranger, jumping six feet high. That's 10. Uh, they accuse me of, of being bi, of dry begging. So I'm asking to for everyone to tell me they accuse me. They accuse me of everything they are. But have I literally streamed their shows have i literally streamed their shows guys <laughs> they he, he streams you or has clips over we don't believe any of those false accusations i've never streamed i've i've shown you guys a little clip and that's it we analyze that little clip and we're done but to stream my whole show because you have no content. That sucks. That's got to be sucky do. And then to have your co-host wanting to be right here. And I've, I've got my legs todas abiertas right now. Right there. Bitch, you're never going to be there. You're never going to be there, bitch. It is sad when they pretend to be cool. Uh, it is sad that they can't move on. Oh, 
What is that? Mark, Mike, Mark. No Nintendo. They accuse me of a whole bunch of stuff that is not true. False accusations. You know, I do believe, and I do believe that people are just, I've always said it, people are curious by nature, by nature. You know, el pinche, el pinche sapo, el, 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 el frog that stung the, no, it wasn't the frog, I'm sorry, it was the scorpion. The scorpion that, that, that stung the frog. The frog was helping him. And the scorpion got him and said, you know, here I am taking you across the river and you and you stung me. Why? It's just my nature. And those people are like scorpions. They're like scorpions. It's just by they have and they accuse me of having a black heart. They do. And I won't. I'm not going to give them my view. If somebody doesn't send me a clip, I will never go watch them. No, I don't. I don't. Thank you, Mina. And that's that's a lot of the things. Um, let me let me let me read you guys a comment that I was sent just right now. You know, I try to move forward. I try to have platicas, and they and they want to keep at it. They want to keep at it. No pasa nada. That's all right. Um, if nobody noticed. My neighbor, my neighbor wants to be in between my legs también, in my opinion, and Cordova did say there is freedom of speech. My neighbor doesn't know how to tell me that she wants to, my little could, could, could. It's never going to happen. So I'm telling you right now, it's not going to happen. You can post 10,000 videos of me, me vale verga. Those videos are old. Those videos are old. And those videos that my neighbor is posting, on, on the first video that I saw, obviously she's lying. I was uh, with the DA. I was supporting the DA and she was upset. Uh, she said that I was stalking her. Bitch, I can't, I, I go to HEB, doesn't mean you're there, doesn't mean I'm stalking you, bitch. You dumbass bitch, we live in the same city. But there's people that are like that. Let me read this uh, comment that I got that somebody sent me just now. Yep. Tonsillitis on the on the on the on the on the on the grandson guys. Tonsillitis, he's only 3. So may God bless him. All right, I want to read this to you guys. This is from a bitch that has been up my ass for 3 years. Someone did a raffle and they already had the number when she started the live. Bitch, that's what it's about. I'm supposed to have the fucking number, you fucking dumbass bitch. How the fuck? How the fuck are we going to know who won if I don't have the fucking number, you dumbass bitch? Ira pinche culera. Chinga tu madre, puta. How about that? How about chingas a tu madre, chingas a tu padre, y chingas a tu puta abuela, hija de tu puta madre? So listen to this. Someone did a raffle and already had the number when she started the live. What a quien sabe que coincidence that the winner donated the money to her child. Is that my fault? Guys, is that my fault? You guys know how this works. We do a tombola. I have the number right here. Or somebody sends me the number. Then you, then you guys, and I show you the number. Haven't I always shown you the number? West Texas Queen Bee, isn't that stupid? Haven't I always shown you the number after you guys win? Es una gran pendeja. Es una gran pendeja. Hablas a lo puro pendejo, hija de puta. I bet your fucking ass that you will never, never in your fucking life be half the woman that I am at 57. Te lo aseguro, hija de tu puta madre. Te lo aseguro, you will never be half the woman that I am at 57. And yeah, I did say it. Chinga tu madre culera. Yeah, that's the way the tombolas work. Now, if somebody wins a tombola and says, you know what? Give it to Sirena. Is that my fault? Did I tell them to do that? 
How the fuck is that my fault, you fucking dumbass bitch? How the fuck is that my fault? Can anybody tell me? I don't know who that bitch is that said that, but she hides behind a fake page cry wolf. Exactly. And you know what? In my opinion, I don't even want it to get to 50. Don't even get to 50, bitch. Muerte a la gran verga for all I fucking care. You're not my sister. You're not my cousin. You're not my niece. You're not my tia. Fuck you, bitch. Then they get all mad when I tell them to, I don't care. You're nothing to me. You're not related to me. I don't. To be honest, I don't care. So I got that one. All right. That's one. And then I got another one. Fuck. This bitch is watching me, guys. Guys, somebody just sent me a, a post that my neighbor just posted. No fucking originality. Not just my opinion. I have a, a silent viewer right now who just sent me a picture 16 minutes ago. How long was it ago that I talked about this? The Goliaths are never comfortable with the Davids inside of us. Vete a la verga, hija de puta. In my opinion, y dijo Cordova, fuck you, bitch. All day. All day, cry wolf. All day. That's what I was talking about. All day, that individual has been posting about me. So I called the cops today. I did. I called the police. And I said, officer, you know, I'm not going to say anything bad, but this person is doing this. And he said, Dejala. she's just trying to get your attention. She's just trying to get your attention. We all know that you were not involved in the beating. We all know. Everybody knows I was not involved in the beating, but she's trying to get your attention, Ms. Moreno. So, yo la voy a dejar. Que siga abriendo el hocico porque me la per... Mira, me pelas la pinche verga que no tengo, culera. Porque yo soy la mera verga. I don't have to lie for fucking views, bitch. That's right. Well, my dick fit. Got her real mad. Pendeja, how the fuck are you not going to get it? Well, my dick fit. Well, my dick fit, bitch? Fuck yeah, I don't fucking fit. Te la metió el pinche vato de allá de California por, I don't know where. Tenía todo en wheelchair, no podía ni caminar. All of them are trying to, but it's all right because my show is already done. And, you know. Claro. Yeah, they are upset. They are upset about the gift to my daughter, KK. They think that I'm telling people, give it to Goyo, give it to Sirena. That's not my fault. Sometimes people are telling me, Ophelia, I haven't given you anything in a long time. If I win, keep it. And they tell me to keep it. Is that my fault? Tell me, guys, is that my fault? When somebody gives me their tombola, that they won, and they tell me, we want to pay it forward to Sirena, to Goyo, or to you. Is that my fault? No, it's not my fault. How the fuck does this bitch... Thank you. And yeah, she doesn't have any originality, so she has to copy me. Thank you, thank you, Inbox Fairy. No originality. Fuck. Hey, girly. Did you get the new email? Have you done it? Just get a new email, guys. Get a new email so you guys can come back. Somebody else had sent me a... Uh, um... Oh, and let me tell you guys something. There's a Pepe's girl out there commenting on other platforms, guys. That is not our Pepe's girl. Just to let you guys know, that Pepe's girl is not our Pepe's girl. 
Remember, haters have done this for a long time where they have copied your names and put it out there on their platforms. It's not their money. Thank you, Mini. It's true. Pero todo les molesta. Like, Jesus, I just put these uh, socks on. Brand new socks. Maybe that bitch is not going to like the color. You know, you don't like the color too bad. It's They're not your socks. They're mine. I'm glad I'm just disabled and not miserable. Pepe's girl, <clears throat> it is not you. I know it's not you. So I just, I'm telling everyone, it is not you. You are not that person over there. There's another, there's another, here it is. Here's the other one. Here, here's this bitch talking stupidities that I'm not even going to fucking read. Yoli Martinez, chinga tu madre, culera. All right. So the Georgie Porgy pudding pie is out there wanting to, you know, type and put in her two cents. When Luke Thompson called us and said that he, he was buying something and he had it in his hands, the bitch is out there saying, and this bitch wants to get her ass chewed up. Like le gusta. She wants to be in people's mouth. She won't stop. This bitch won't stop until she fucking croaks. So I want God. If you guys believe in miracles, I want God to, to do a miracle. <laughs> I believe in miracles. Jesus. El milagro, Dios, please. El milagro. El milagro. Do a milagro. God, do a milagro. Cordova did say freedom of speech, and I don't have to like somebody. If I don't like them, muerte a la verga, bitch. I don't give a fuck, bitch. Muerte a la verga. I, I don't give a fuck. That's right, cry wolf, porque no se cae el hocico la pendeja. No se cae el hocico la gran pendeja. I believe in miracles, hell yeah, and I do believe you're a walking uh, miracle. Oh, by nature, by nature, claro, God's going to do it. And I hope God does it sooner than later. <laughs> Dice la pendeja. Yes, and she's talking directly to Lupe. Yes, you had condoms, jelly, and tampons in the cart. Oh, no, Lupe didn't have a cart. So she's got to be talking to the other Raymond Villian. Ah! She's talking to the other Raymond Villian. I don't think there's a condom that would fit. Fuck. Lupa didn't have a cart, so she's got. Why do you have, bitch? Why do you have to make me think? Why does that lady have to make me think like that? Look at that. She's telling the other Raymond Villian that he had condoms, jelly, and tampons in the cart. Cochina. Cochina. Ugh. Anyway, and that was just in my opinion, and Cordova did say freedom of speech. But anyway, I'm going to guys. I don't think they do. Wait. All right, I'm going to show you guys something. I would lend him this one. I would lend him this one, pero se va a salir todo por aquí por los little holes. I would lend him this one. Yo se lo presto. Pero se va a salir todo por ahí por los little holes. Vamos a ver. Oh, miren, guys. Si se abre. Yo le, yo le presto este. Tan new. Tan new. Pero se le va a salir la cosa ahí por los little holes. <laughs> this is the one that I use for my toes, guys. I use these little condoms for my toes. Um, if you guys have never 
used these little condoms. <laughs> it's too big. <laughs> I use these little condoms, guys, for my toes. So my so my toe doesn't go under the other toe. If you guys have never bought these little condoms, you guys should buy these little condoms. They are really good. Holy cow. Specify. Somebody else that's already suffering. I don't know who you're talking about. I don't mention any names, but I don't know who you're talking about. Somebody needs to stop saying that we are sadistic. They don't know the half of it. It's a good one. Do the replay. The, no, this these are really good, guys. Not to keep your toes from reproducing. <laughs> I don't know, girl. I think they do. I think Las uñas. Skin. Fuck. I hate this skin on the side of my nose. Anyway. That's why I said. Yo se lo presto. <laughs> anyway, guys. Thank you guys for the laughs. Thank you for being here with me. Tomorrow is the third. And remember, guys. Vagos, 67. Vagos, Valdemar, Adrian, Gregorio, Ophelia, and Sirena. There's five of us. And I do have all my children. I might not have one here, but he's in my heart. Most of us are honest and not the cousins of Mother Teresa of Calcutta. That's right. I think all of us are honest here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Scarlett, for being here. The eclipse, the eclipse, eclipse, the, the Eclipse is almost here, April 8th. Yes, it is. Olive oil for the hands. Yes. A la verga. Guys, they do have them. Mira. But I think those are too big. All right. Let me see. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. They already closed the Tropicana, guys, but that's another story. They already closed the Tropicana. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for the likes. Gracias. Probably. Holy cow. Woo! What was that? Um, I, it was, it was condoms. It was, con it was little condoms. Cause somebody was asking if there was little condoms and it was, there are little condoms. <laughs> They're little. Exactly. Say Martinez. Exactly. Yes. you you are so right. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. You are so right, girlfriend. And you know what? I'm going to tell you guys what. Yaya got her good today. Yaya le dijo, don't drop something that you can't pick up. Boom, culera. Yaya got her so good today. Uh, holy cow. It was incredible the way Yaya got her at the end. Yaya le dijo, hey, and called her by her fucking name. Y le dijo, sabes que pendeja, in my opinion. Así le dijo. No le dijo así, but in my opinion, le dijo, ¿sabes qué, pendeja? Don't be dropping shit that you can't pick up. Boom. La mandó a la gran verga. Yes, she did. What am I talking about? Yaya's show today. Yaya la mandó a la verga. Holy cow. Yes, she did. I was so, so happy. At the end, Yaya told her. The waterbed girl? Oh, yes, she did. She did. 
But anyway, estuve con ustedes. Gracias. Gracias, gracias, gracias. I love you guys. I do. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Gracias. If you know, you know. That's right. Oh, 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 no more cheesecake lies. Ah! Guys, no more cheesecake lies posted something. And if you have not seen it, you have got KK is doing real good también. Nothing to do on Friday night except for sauce. I want I want you guys to know that if you guys have not seen KK's page, KK is doing really good. KK Smith, but no more cheesecake lies posted something today. And she posted, remember Cheesky's thinking that she was slick, showing her kitty, kitty, kitty. I'm sorry, the fat cat, acting as if we wouldn't notice. So no more Cheesky's lies. Posted something. Posted a baker, guys. Posted a baker with, um, what are those called? Let me see. Let me put it right because I don't want to say it wrong. Then they're going to do the word of the day. Come on. It doesn't want to say it. I got it. What happened to my voice? What is up, guys? Bonjour. This is Julian, the Frenchman who makes French pronunciation videos here on YouTube. Yes, pronunciation videos, and we are looking at. No te quiero ir a ti. No te quiero ir a ti. Quiero, ¿cómo se dice aquí? In too much at the end, do not say macaron, but rather macaron. Or again in French, macaron. Les délicieux macarons. The macaron. 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 So, los macarons, guys. Se dice macarons. Y estos macarons están aquí en el picture de No More Cheesecake Lies. If you, guys, if you guys want to go see it, se le mira el macaron ahí con las uh, con la two inches también. Con su pinche madre. Se mira la, la pinche pirinolita así con los bibitos. <laughs> ah, who got demoted twice back to back? Yeah, la demoted her, her. She got demoted back to back from over there and from over here. And she's pissed. Yep, her. Esa. But anyway, yeah. Uh, you need to go to No More Cheesecake Lies and see the macaron. Italos, la macaron, ruitos, and the two little two inch. <laughs> Messenger. Before I leave. Hi, boy. You want me to put it out loud? I guess. I guess that's what you mean. Macaroon. Like a raccoon, but macaroon. I don't know if it's macaroon because I heard it from a French guy that said macaron. He said macaron. So is it macaroon or macaron, guys? The French guy said macaron. What is it? Macaroon or macaron? Oh, I don't know, Cindy. Don't, don't. Yeah, KK is not hiding. It's KK Smith. French and English. I, ah, macaroon and macaron. I said it the French guy way. Okay, estuve con ustedes. Gracias, gracias, gracias por estar conmigo. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you guys being here. Guys, do you guys remember my comadre Linda Cruz? Linda Cruz is here watching. She's been watching us all the time. She did not flip-flop. She is silently viewing us because she's having some problems making an email. 
but she's here watching us. She got ghosted. I need to talk to the YouTube people and ask them what's going to happen to all those people that got ghosted. So Linda Cruz, guys, can you guys say hi to Linda Cruz? She wants to say hi to everyone. If you guys don't remember, she is from here from Texas. Linda Cruz is with us. But she's been ghosted, and I know it's hateful. She's trying. She's trying to make another email, guys. She will be back with us. So before we leave, just know that she's here watching us. And good night, guys. Good night. Remember, hagan el bien. Do what is right, and don't don't look at who. Uh, try to be the better person. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying to be the better person. These people don't want to stop. And ni modo. They don't have any content, so they have to use la mera verga for content. But anyway, estuve con ustedes. I don't know. I don't know, Candy Crush. Maybe she needs to get a hold of you. I already told her. I already told her so she can get a hold of you, uh, Candy Crush. Good night a todas. Acuérdense, Ofelia Moreno no tiene ni rey ni roque, ni quien le maneje el troque. Good night.